Howdy guys! Um, today is a lovely day to try out new products because I was feeling like I haven't worn makeup in a little while and I don't really care what happens here right now today. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anything to do. So let's try some new shit out and see uh, if we can't make it look awesome. Um, and let's see if we can find anything in here that does not stand up to the test of application. That's so awkward stand up the test in general and see what we think. So I kind of picked out a bunch of stuff right here. I just asked you guys on Instagram whether you wanted to see the ABH Riviera palette that I just purchased and got in the mail or the Too Faced Pretty Little Thing, uh, Pretty pretty Little Thing, Ugh. Pretty Mess palette by er Erica Jane um, that got sent to me in a PR package. So we've got some really fun stuff here that I've been wanting to try for a little while. I just haven't been filming a whole lot lately because I've been super, super busy um, with Arctic Fox as you guys always hear. So we've got some fun stuff in here to try out. I do have the new Shape Tape Primer, or um, uh, foundation to try out, and a new Urban Decay brow product, and some really interesting blush items. So this is gonna be fun. Let's go ahead and, I think I'm gonna start with the eyes first like I usually do. Um, so I've been wanting to try this for a little while. This is the, oh, I forgot to say also. Um, uh, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when I upload a new video. I know it's been kind of few and far between lately, so you'll get notified first when I've got new content up because I'm assuming YouTube is probably like, she never posts, let's not show her shit to anybody, so who knows. But um, also this video I'm gonna be going over, kind of reliving a nightmare of a story um, that I've never talked about on social media before and I feel like now is the right time to do so. Um, I've learned so much since this happened and if this happened to me today, this would have gone down way differently. So the point of me sharing it is that if you're, you ever find yourself in a situation like this, I hope that you know your rights and know what you can do to better the situation and like make it right so it doesn't happen to somebody else. Anyways, this light is always turned. So this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. I know some of you get annoyed when people use, ooh, it's very thick. Wow, <laughs> I was expecting that to glide on and it's like eh! um, Ultimate Coverage, okay, well, wow. That's, that's a, whoa, my brushes are like way off yonder in Timbuktu, this little cart. Wow, that's, I seriously need to pluck my eyebrow like so bad, holy heck. This is a very full coverage concealer. Um, yeah, some of you get annoyed when people use concealer for the, for the eye area because it doesn't always work for you. Um, so use whatever, you, like if you're following along right now, use whatever is comfortable for you that you know works and keeps your eyeshadow on today. We are experimenting. So I don't know. Sometimes I will powder this and sometimes I won't. Today I'm just going to do a, a little light dust. We'll see. We'll see how we do. This isn't going to be a new product, by the way, what I'm going to dust with. Where are we here? I'm just going to take a little bit of the Too Faced Born This Way ethereal setting powder. Just pop a little bit of this on top, nothing too crazy. For you guys, <laughs> I feel like it's been a little minute. Um, I've been putting some uh, content up on my pet channel too, so if you love animals and you didn't know that I had a pet YouTube channel, I do. I make pet videos, and lately I've been feeling like making those more than beauty videos, um, so I've been making a few more over there, but I love animals, I love makeup, but if I had to choose, I would pick animals. If I had to pick one for the rest of my life, what about you? Let me know, I'm curious. I feel like I know what your answer is gonna be because you're here, you love animals, I know you do. Okay, let's check Instagram real quick because this has been up for a hot minute and I'm not sure which palette you guys decided on and this is completely in your hands. So let's pop over to this bad boy and see what you guys chose. Ooh, it's so close. It is 56% Too Faced and 44% ABH. Mm. Oh gosh. I feel like that needs a few more minutes because that's just like really close. So while we're waiting for that to rack up a few more votes and minutes here, um, let's go and check this out. Now, I did have a friend text me and tell me, I'm not going to leave any names here, 
but they did tell me that this palette did not work well for them, which is why I was intrigued to pick it up today. Since I'm not going anywhere to see like what we thought about it on the eyes, I really love the packaging. Um, first and foremost, I think it's super fun. I had absolutely no idea who Erica Jane was before um, I saw this collaboration come out, but I know that Jared and Jeremy are really good friends with her. Um, and I think she's a, a real housewife of some city or another, I'm not sure. Um, so these are really pretty golds, pinks, mauves, cranberries, and we've got like a straight up glitter right here. And these are matte, satin matte maybe. And then these are, these, this, this, and this are a little more glittery, whereas these are kind of like, I don't know eyeshadow names, like how to describe them. It's like metallic, okay? <laughs> like really suck at that. So um, this is this palette. Uh, it looks pretty cute. I'm, I'm really liking that freaking gold glittery or the gl what color is that glitter it's like it's like a mixture of honestly like gold and a rust it's really pretty i like that one a lot then we've got the abh riviera palette i saw this going around on twitter and i was like i need to try that out um i think it's time to give abh another chance i had a pretty bad experience with like one of the last palettes i think it was subculture i didn't really realize it was awful until like the eyeshadow war. And then there was another one after that, that during like was so freaking patchy. And admittedly so, my eyes have been actually quite dry lately. So I've been putting a lot of um, moisturizer on there and whatnot, but this is the ABH Riviera palette. I must say I don't like this box. I think it's kind of, it like matches my background perfectly. <laughs> um, I feel like this box looks a little cheap. I, I don't know. I just not really here for that box. But here is the shade range in here. This is like very tropical to me. Um, I think that these shades are really cool. I don't know, like this shade for instance, like what would you use in the crease to blend out with that? Like the only one I can see working here is like one of these or something. Like it's kind of an odd one. Um, same thing with this one. So I feel like the color setup is a little weird for me. Like usually when I see a palette, like I'll show you a palette that I've been absolutely dying for. Ugh. This is the Sigma and Beauty Bird, the dream palette. And this is a motherfucking dream. Okay, because every time I've been traveling lately, I've been taking this with me. This gives me so many ideas. Like when I look at this, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. And then the problem is when I sit down to use it, I have a million ideas. So this is, really speaking to me. The mustards, the teal, the pinks, the purples, and then you've got a really deep shade. I don't, is this supposed to be black? I think it's supposed to be black. Um, to to d deepen stuff up, I've been using this as an actual highlight. Really pigmented, love this. Um, so initially looking at this, I think it's really pretty. I'm like, ooh, yes. But then I'm like, okay, what am I actually gonna do with that though? And then I get a little confused. Like, I feel like it needs to be rearranged. Um, Raw Beauty Christy like rearranged a palette before like in her video and I thought that was great. Like I would rearrange this. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so we've got 152 votes for Too Faced and 131 for ABH. So that's good enough for me right now. I'm actually more attracted to the Too Faced one in general. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead with this guy. I just feel like this palette is like, is more complete. Like I could, I feel like I could complete a full look with this. Whereas the ABH one, I'm just, like I said, kind of like a little bit confused by it. And I did bring some sick ass glitter I wanted to try today, but I don't know. I think we'll save it for later, but just for shits and gigs, let me show this to you. This is so pretty. BH Cosmetics has been like really impressing me, impressing, impressing, impressing me lately. Um, this is the Glitter Collection Loose Glitter. This one is in, spiced pumpkin. I don't know if you can like how well you can see that, but it's just so freaking pretty. I just want to like open it and just be like, okay, I'm done. Okay, I'm done. Worth its weight is the really fun, pretty glittery one. I'm going to do this on the lid and then I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go, I'm going to go a little bit more mauve purple-ish, I think for the crease. So I'm going to start with the darker shade, so I'm gonna go in with Fuck Frugal. Okay, interesting name. Got a lot here, and I'm just going to, whoa, whoa. 
she came to play. Now the person that texted me said that when they blended this out, it blended out almost into nothing. And they weren't speaking about this exact shade, so I can't really speak to that, but it was about the palette in general. And so far, this is looking pretty, pretty dang impressive. Um, so while I'm applying this, let's just go ahead and jump into my story about a boss, one of my bosses. So as you may or may not know, I, um, I used to live in LA, so I lived there for about 12 years. I moved right, like right when I started my YouTube channel, I, I moved out of LA. Um, but before I met Ryan and before I, you know, I owned a business at this time too, but I worked a bunch of different jobs and I was super busy with them. Now I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna do this one and this one together. Um, to kind of blend this out. So I had this job and I'm not going to, actually, yeah, I am. <laughs> I am gonna tell you. Uh, the This guy actually, oh, we'll get into that. I get ahead of myself. I'm not great at storytelling, you guys. I like think about what I'm gonna say next and then I just ruin it all. Anyways, I worked at this place full time and um, I was single at the time and my boss was probably about 15 years older than I was. Um, maybe even more. I think I was like literally 20 years old and he had a wife and kids and he was definitely, you know, older. Okay, this is blending out interestingly. Um, and he invited me to a show with him and his brother and I kind of just thought nothing of it. Um, I just thought, okay, that is blending out very weirdly. I just thought like, I was like, oh, this is nice of him. Like he knows I just went through a breakup and you know, I'm his employee and it's just kind of team building, like whatever. I was naive, I was only 20. I didn't know shit about shit. So I go with him and then later that night after he drops me off, he's like texting me these inappropriate things, like really inappropriate, like saying the word vagina and like how what he wants to do and like all this stuff. And I mind you, I'm not like, feeding into this. Like I'm basically ignoring the guy. I'm like, oh, I'm already in bed. Like, you know, whatever. Like before he was like, oh, what are you doing now? I'm like, I I'm in bed. Like I'm going to sleep. I got to get up tomorrow. Um, and oh wow, that's so not cute. Whoa. Yikes. I'm going to try and like make this better. Um, so he sends me these texts and I just ignore him. And then um, you know, he was never flirtatious with me in the workplace at all, nothing like that. That's, you know, one reason why I thought it wasn't a big deal, obviously, before this happened. So then, I, I, a couple weeks later, I see my job. So this guy's name was AJ, and, um, Anyways, so a little bit later, I see my job listing like up on Craigslist, and I'm like, all right, this guy's literally about to fire me. So, he lets me go within a week of me seeing that. And I took a screenshot of that job listing and I sent it to my parents and I'm like, okay, obviously I'm about to like lose my job, but I didn't say anything. I didn't tell my parents. That is real bad. Okay, we're actually gonna take this off. Like this is not, not looking good. Um, okay, hang on. Just adding more and more to that and like nothing's getting better, so. Okay, I'm gonna just go in right now with Lap of Luxury and just build that up here. Um, oh, that's pretty shade. Okay, so he pulls me into off his office and he decides to let me go. And he basically just says that there's no need for my job anymore. Um, basically makes it sound like he is like getting rid of my position. Um, and I did customer service and returns and whatnot. And I wish I had had the balls in that moment. I was like, when I get upset, I start to cry. So I was feeling that coming on and I didn't want to cry in front of this guy. So I just left and I was really upset. But if that had happened now, you bet your ass I would have screenshot those texts. I would have sent them to his wife and I then would have taken him to court and um, for sexual harassment and the fact that I lost my job over that also, 
um, I could have sued this guy for literally everything his company was worth. And that's not the point though. <laughs> Although I was very, very poor and that would have been real nice. But um, just so he never did this to anybody again and his poor wife, like what a fucking loser to like do that. So AJ from Global Rebels, if you see this, which you probably won't because you don't wear makeup, you are a piece of shit. And I hope your wife has found out since then. Um, so yeah, I went on with, you know, my life and got a different job and, you know, growing up and kind of learning what I know now about things, this shit would never happen to me again. And I've heard about this happening to people recently. Like, I don't know, someone told me, forget if it was like a chef that was cooking for me at some point was, I don't know, someone was telling me that their friend was being sexually harassed at work, like kind of in a, in a not the same way, but you know, a way that I'm not going to talk about, but it's just not okay for those things to happen. And so if that's that sort of thing is happening to you, don't be afraid of losing your job because if you lost your job because you said something, you are gonna be set financially for a while. So don't let something like that stop you from coming forward with stuff like that. Like people need to be brought to justice who do these sorts of things and it's not okay. Like, and if they value their job at all, they, they wouldn't be doing those things. They're just literally scum of the earth and they're disgusting humans. I think they can just take advantage of people and fuck, it's not okay. Like I really, really wish that I wasn't so young and naive and I wish that I knew what I know now. Um, you know, since that has happened, I'm gonna go in with show and tell, which is like this like browner one up here. Um, just wish I knew then what I know now because it just wouldn't have gone down like that. But that is my story time. These seem to be going on a lot better than that darker shade. I don't know what's up with that darker shade. I feel like purples like that are kind of hard to do because I have that problem, not just with this palette, but some other ones too. Um, I'm just gonna keep that super simple. And then we're gonna use a, um, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty. Um, eyeshadow primer on my eyelid for that glitter. Okay, I'm kind of feeling like I put it, should, should have put a shade underneath this. So I'm gonna go in with this darker one called Party People and just put it on here. Um, it, it, it needs a base. Okay, moving on to a brand new primer that I've never used. This is by Tarte. Um, I got like two PR packages from Tarte within the same, like within, I want to say the same week, but it could have been two, a two week period of their new Rainforest of the Sea foundation and then the Shape Tape foundation. I thought it was really odd to like launch two foundations so close together, but whatever. Um, so this is the Rainforest of the Sea. This came with the Rainforest of the Sea foundation and I'm just gonna go it's called Quench Hydrating. Oh, there's so much glitter on my hand. Ah! That would have been not good. <laughs> okay. It smells nice and fresh. This definitely feels like the kind of, what is going on here? Why did nobody say anything on my hair? Well, my hair looks like a mess anyway, so whatever. But um, this feels like the type of primer that you'd put on definitely for hydrating as opposed to kind of like I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but it doesn't, it kind of feels like it's soaking into the skin kind of rather than those primers that will settle into your nooks and crannies and kind of cover them. Does that make sense? It doesn't feel like a spackle primer, but it feels like it's soaking into the skin really nicely. Common occurrence in my videos, the hot water heater is so loud. I film in my garage. Sorry that it's so loud. We're just gonna have to get through this together. Okay, so I just put fake tanner on, so I don't really know what shade I am right now, but this is the packaging of the um, Shape Tape Foundation. I'm excited to try this out. This is 1.014 fluid ounces. Dab off on my palette. Wow, it smells good, meaning there must be oils in it. So I don't know, we'll see how this will be. There may be so, so little amount of oil for that scent that it doesn't affect anything, but usually when you smell scents like that, there's typically oil in it. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna use the beauty blender that they sent along 
along with this package. It feels nice and like squishy, which is good. I'm gonna wet this a little bit with the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Serene Greens Primer Water. Not really usually a fan of sponges that are flat on one side. I just don't really, cause I don't, I don't bake like that, so. So far, I am a little surprised that this isn't a little more full coverage. It's kind of, for me, looking like a more medium coverage, but it, it does look like a really nice finish so far. But I'm just surprised, like when you think shape tape, you think like really heavy coverage. And as you can see, it's not really covering this freckle right here or this pimple or this imperfection. Let's, let's just add more and see what happens. <laughs> let's add more. It's so weird, like where I'm placing it, the sponge is like taking off product. See that? It's like leaving marks where the sponge hit. So that means the sponge is a little too hard for me. Um, We'll just do the full face with this and see what we think. I'm gonna change my brush all together. That one still had the, probably a little bit of the primer on it. So I'm just gonna give this a fighting chance. Okay. Um, I'm surprised by this, this foundation. Um, I expected a way more full coverage less dewy foundation um, because the shape tape is very full coverage and it's not dewy at all for me. I mean, it's it's a good amount of like in the middle. I feel like that took a little while to build up. It wasn't, um, it didn't go on as flawlessly. Also, I have to say that I've been absolutely coveting the Morphe Fluidity Foundation. So it is a tough act to follow. Um, so this isn't super impressing me right now. Also I have period skin, so it's kind of acting up. Um, so it's probably not the best day to try it, but, or maybe it is. Um, this color is not right. <laughs> um, this concealer is really thick. I don't know. It's kind of hard to move around. I'm not really liking it too much. Okay, there's no way that I can leave this not set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little mini fan, I'm gonna give this a little moment to dry, and then I'm gonna powder this because it's just too dewy for my taste. Like for a photo, this might be really nice, but like, I don't know, real life, this shit doesn't fly. You guys can't see my cool queen t-shirt. Mm. Okay, before we powder though, okay, I'm nervous because of how dewy this foundation looks. I feel like this would be good for someone with dry skin that doesn't need a lot of coverage. It is buildable, but um, these really intrigued me. This is the Flower Blush Balm Color Drops for Cheeks. Uh, I have this in a few different shades, um, and these were just really intriguing me, the way that they look. So, I liked the packaging, I think it's interesting. Um, let's see the box for instructions. How to use, dab on the apples of the cheeks and blend to your desired effect. Okay. Um, the one that I'm gonna try today, I thought this was really cool looking. Like just take a gander. This one is called Pinched and then we've got Nectar. I might use a little bit of that too, just depending on how this goes. So goes into the chamber, down. Okay, it feels interesting enough. My biggest fear right now is that this is removing my foundation. It looks real dewy. It almost looks like, like a not sticky lip gloss kind of interesting. Seems to be like my foundation is holding up. Um, this once again, I feel like is good for like a film look or like camera. Like I feel like I'm like a real makeup artist, not a YouTube one would really like this for like on set. Um, for me, that's just not enough color. Let's go for the darker one real quick and try this out. This one is cinnamon. Uh, looks like this. Okay. 
it feels really hydrating and stuff. So like I, this would also be really good if you just wanted a little bit of color, like before you went to the gym or something. I feel like this would be really nice. It's not really disturbing like my foundation and it looks, okay, this is better. There's more color, that's for sure. Okay, I actually think these are really cool. Um, I like these. This is nice for a dewy, fresh look. I would wear this, I think, if I was doing like no makeup and just like some lip gloss, blush and brows and like a little bit of highlight. This would be really nice. It's really um, hydrating and it's, I think that they need to work on the pigmentation a little bit because some of the lighter ones, like I'm pretty fair skinned and they're a little bit too light for me. So I think that I need some darker ones. Um, but I like those. I like the packaging. I think it's pretty fun. And it didn't remove my foundation, which I'm shocked by. So perfect. Now we're going to powder a little bit, going back in with a Too Faced powder. Um, I would honestly, for like a full makeup look though, put a little bit more blush on. I think that this is a little, a little light for how much makeup I have on my eyes right now, but that's just me. A little blush shine is still trying to show through right there. Okay, um, I thought it might be fun to just throw a little color in here real quick. Um, this is the LA Girl Shock Wave Neon Liner. And I mixed my lip liners in here um, because I felt like it, because I'm gonna use them for my eyes. But they have all of these shades, and recently I did use this yellow one, um, and it's pretty dope. So we're gonna use this one today. This shade is Fresh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yes. You are speaking my language. That is so pigmented and pretty. I freaking love these. Um, if you don't, oh boy, what did I do with the cap? Now let's move on to eyebrows. Um, I've been wanting to use this for a little while, but I really wanted to save it to use it in a video so that you guys could see because the funny thing about this, like I swear Urban Decay is my a mind reader. I about mm, seven months, I mean, this was in production way before seven months ago. They had the idea, not me. I'm not trying to say it was my idea, but I was saying to Ryan, I was like, you know, it'd be really nice. Like a lot of them have um, a lot of eyebrows, um, products have the skinny pencil on one side and then kind of like the fatter, um, whatever that shape is on the other side, pencil. And I was like, it'd be really nice if they did, you know, a pencil on one side and then the like the pen with the, like little hairs in it on the other side. And then lo and behold, Urban Decay reads my freaking mind, um, like in the past to the future and makes this guy that has the little brushes on the one side and then the thinner one on this side. So, boop. And these come in so many different shades. You can definitely find what you need. So I'm excited to try this out. Let's give it a go. And in this package, they also had some other brow products, but I was mostly interested in trying this right now because I haven't been really doing brow powders. So let's give this a try. Oh, I really need to pluck my eyebrows. Draw some little hairs first. Oh, flip over to this side. There's a chance that this is a little too dark for me right now. I think I might've grabbed one that's slightly too dark, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Whoa. Okay, that's much too dark, um, but I'm liking the way that this is working. One thing I'm noticing about this that I like is um, they've figured out that when you're doing your flicks here, the, the item is, the product is like gonna be upside down basically and not like this to get the ink down. I used a product the other day that um, whenever you would do this, none of the ink was getting to the um, tip of the product. So I literally just threw it in the trash. I was like, this is seriously pointless. <laughs> it doesn't even work unless you're like, 
and then do it real quick and then do it again. I was like, this is stupid. I'm gonna go ahead and use a new um, eyeliner right now. I haven't been wearing eyeliners lately and this one totally freaks me out since I am not used to doing eyeliner lately. This is the Stamp and Drag by Ciate and Courtney Act. Courtney Act? I'm not really sure who that is but um, I've had it sitting in there for a while. So you get a little stamp. I don't know what the best way for you guys to see this is. It is a little stamp liner um, that you stamp on there. And then you use this guy to draw in. So I guess we're gonna use this stamp. This makes me so nervous. Like this just looks giant, but we're gonna try it anyway, so. There's the stamp. There's the stamp. Okay, it wasn't as scary as I thought it was gonna be. We'll take this in. So I actually think that worked pretty well. I was a little afraid of it, so I started the stamp in closer and I probably would have done it a little further out now and at more of an angle like that, but Putting that on actually works pretty well. The only thing I will say is if you have more mature eyelids, um, I think that this uh, pen is a little, um, it's not as malleable as some of the ones that have just like the fibers that kind of just roll over your skin a little easier. This one's gonna push your skin a little bit more if that makes any sense at all. One little thing that I wanna do is try this. I know I don't have a low cut shirt on right now, but I thought it'd be fun to see what it looks like. This is also from the Too Faced um, Erica Jane collection. This is called Pat the Puss. <laughs> um, this is just basically like, oh, geez. Kind of like an old school, it's got a cute little money sign, like kind of like an old school um, little like fluff. Ooh, that leaves stuff all over your shirt if you apply it like I am right now. Um, this is really pretty. Oh my gosh, it tastes like candy. That's super pretty for like, if you are going to the pool, whatever, I like that, that's cool. Okay, so I feel like I didn't get quite enough blush um, or pigment on my cheeks, so I'm gonna go in for a little something more. So for a little bit of bronzer today, this is just came to me in the 2019 Wet n Wild collection where they had like lip gloss, highlight, etc. So this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. First thoughts is this is a little yellowy orange for me. Um, the other option was a bronzer that was shimmery and just too dark for me, which I think would look beautiful on some skin tones, but I think on me it might look a little too shimmery and muddy. Um, so, because uh, I wasn't blessed with dark or beautiful skin. <laughs> but, um, so we're gonna try this out. Um, first thoughts though is like, it's just like a weird shade. Like it just looks very, you, I don't know if you can tell in person, but compared to my skin tone, this just looks really kind of like, it's like a yellow orange um, is like how I'm just trying to describe this, but that's like how I feel like it looks. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about this yet. Okay, this is looking better on the skin than it does in here. Um, it's not really taking on that same look on the skin, which is nice, but also a little confusing when you're at the store buying bronzer. Like if I saw that, I'd be like, oh no, 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 that's not my shade. I wanted to go to the dollar store today. Like, am I getting all dolled up to like legit like, stroll the aisles of the dollar store? Cause I'm not mad about it. That is like a good Friday to me. <laughs> okay, back to the Too Faced um, and Erica Jane collection. I'm laughing because of the name of this. This is a highlighter. This is called How Many Fucks Do I Give? But fucks is spelled with tons of emojis. So, and it says none, not one on the mirror. I really like that. So this is what this looks like. Ooh, whoa, hello. I'm excited to put this on. <sighs> okay, so I'm just gonna kinda go over both areas and we will, ooh, that's pretty. I feel like this would work with a lot of different skin tones, which is really cool. Like it's not, there's not a lot of cast that I'm seeing, so it'll work for lighter skin tones like mine, but then I think this would also look really nice on darker skin tones as well. It's just like a really nice kind of in-between shade that can go a lot of different ways. We have a couple things left here. 
uh, I'm going to be using the Luscious Cosmetics Spellbinder Makeup Setting Mist. This stuff has pineapple juice, rose water, honeysuckle, and anti-pollution suitable for all skin types, exotic botanical blend. So get her going. Oh my gosh, I feel like a sprinkler just hit me in the face. That was a lot. That was a lot of botanicals on the face, okay? Wow. Today, I'm gonna be using this for the first time. I just saw this on my Instagram feed today and it reminded me that I wanted to try this. This is the Smith & Colt Hydro Gloss High Pigment Lip Gel. I like the way that that sounds. Part of the reason why this really intrigues me is I really like the shades first and foremost that they did. This is like a really nice mauve pink shade that is neutral and will pretty much go with anything. And then um, they were saying that it is a lip gel that will stay on your lips for long periods of time without being sticky, which appeals to me. I really do not like sticky, 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 sticky lip gloss. Like it reminds me of glue and I just can't stand it. So let's try this out. We'll see how pigmented this is. Um, sometimes with gloss, I will actually draw under the, where the gloss will be for, so it lasts longer and so that it, when it starts to wear off on the center, you just don't have like the cholita like lips. So let's see how pigmented this is. We'll put this on. It smells like licorice. Okay, that's like really not very pigmented at all, which I don't hate, but if I had known, I would have drawn this all the way in. Um, I typically will only wear a gloss like that if I am putting it over like my favorite shade of lipstick that I just want it to be like glossy, or if I'm doing it like this, cause I love the shade of the gloss, or if I've just gotten my lips done and I don't feel like I need to like super overdraw them. Why it wants to die today. So the way that I'm seeing this move around when I'm applying it, I really don't feel like this would last very long. Like just the way that the pigment's moving around when I'm putting this on. It's a nice formula that doesn't feel sticky at all. However, I really don't think that this would last very long all on its own. So I guess we'll see, I'll up, maybe I'll update you guys like on Instagram stories in a little while and pop it in this video. But as of now, I'm feeling like this like lipstick's not, or lip gel's not gonna last super long. But let me clean it up and we will wrap this baby up. All right, and there we are. There's the full face of new products. Let's talk about some of the products that I was really loving and that I will definitely be grabbing for. Um, usually when I love a product, I will keep it on my desk. So first and foremost, these are already sitting on my desk because I actually used a different shade once before, so I kind of cheated there. But this is the LA Girl um, uh, Neon Liners. I really, really am liking these. I think they're awesome. They're super pigmented. They're really colorful. They're just freaking cool. So they inspire me to be colorful. Not like I really <laughs> need a whole lot of inspiration in that arena, but those are sitting on my desk. Um, Love this, this glimmery powder. This is really fun. And one reason why I'm really gravitating towards this is because a lot of times it is a day that I've just put on a fake tan and I can't really rub like an oily glittery thing on me because it will take off my tan or even a day later, it could still take off your tan if there's certain oils in it that just don't work well with the tanning formula. So the fact that that can just go on dry and still look like glitter, gl glister, what am I trying to say? Glisteny and like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just like shimmery and pretty. So I really like that. Um, really loving this highlight. I think they hit it out of the park with this. Um, I love that you kind of have do, two different shades you can like cocktail together, or you can just kind of choose one or the other if you want this one for a brow highlight or you know, what have you, kind of how I did in the inner corner of the eye. Um, now let's talk about some things that I was kind of like, oh, I also really like these guys. Um, I just hope that there are darker shades coming because I think that there's just, we just need some darker shades to show up a little better because I had to put more blush on. So again, I think these would be really cool for a really, really nice, natural, flushed, like beautiful, dewy, luminous look. Insert more adjectives that mean luminous and glowy. Um, Love that, I thought those were really cool. Um, just want more color range. 
Um, let's talk about some things I was indifferent about. Uh, I have to say the eyeshadow palette I was slightly indifferent about, um, just because it's not something I haven't seen before. Like these are really safe shades that you can find in a million different palettes. And I love Too Faced, but I have these same shades in a number of palettes. Like any shades that, any palettes that kind of go mauve pinkish, pretty much always have all of these shades. Like I have a Huda Beauty palette that's very, very similar to this with even the pressed glitter. Um, and I was a little turned off by this shade initially not blending out well. This one did blend out really well, so I was impressed by this, but these other shades, aren't anything to write home about. I don't think they're, you know, they're, they, they've been done before. So um, I did like this. I think this was cool. I think they need to educate a little more on like that you should use the base with that, um, unless you're doing like a glossy eye. Love the packaging, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd really grab for this one again, um, especially at the price point. I just really, like I have one on my desk right now. I just love a lot of like less expensive palettes. Like this is, it's my pleasure. This has some bomb ass shades. This is by ColourPop, so it's way less, um, it's more affordable. And you're getting these shades that are just like, I'm gravitating towards. Um, and this is coming from someone who really likes color too. So keep that in mind. Like if you're more of a neutrals um, girl or boy, you might gravitate towards Pretty Mess. Um, it wasn't a pretty mess actually, so that was great, except that one shade was a hot freaking mess. Um, and let's continue, what else here? So the Shape Tape Conceal, uh, the Shape Tape Foundation by Tarte, I was a little let down by this because I was going into it thinking that it was going to be a match for the Shape Tape, but honestly, I don't think I'd wear Shape Tape Concealer with this foundation because the Shape Tape Concealer is way more matte and it is has way more coverage. So I, I just was a little thrown off and I wasn't really expecting that with this product. So not to say that it's a bad product. I think this is a great product for when you have like really clear skin or you're just spot concealing and you want like a light, you know, a lighter coverage foundation over it. This is coming from someone who wears 35 pounds of makeup when I put makeup on. So take it with a grain of salt, but I just think that this could have been a little more full coverage and a little less dewy. For me, um, if you have dry skin and you like kind of less coverage, I would say that this might be something that you wanna try out because it's not like the Shape Tape where it is more matte and stuff. So this this was an interesting one, um, took me by surprise, definitely wasn't ready for that. I like the packaging um, and yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on, on this one. I don't think I'll reach for this again unless my skin is feeling dry or if I'm on vacation, I just want a really, really light makeup look, but I don't do that very often not really my jam. Um, I think it would be a good one maybe for the gym to make it look like you're like sweating a little extra when you know you're not kind of thing. I don't know. Um, I liked the primer. I thought this was nice, but um, it's, you know, it's, it's a primer. It felt hydrating, which was nice. Um, I tend to go for uh, primers since I am 30 years old now. I go for primers that are a little more filling in all of the um, pores and wrinkles and whatnot. So, you know, uh, this guy, meh, I don't know. It's 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 a bronzer that's not really the color that you see here. It's it's take it or leave it. I have some other wet and wild um, bronzers that I like more than this. So I don't think I would grab for this again. Uh, did I talk about the concealer? I don't know if I did. Um, I don't think I'll be grabbing for this concealer again. Um, it reminded me of like a really thick, sticky lip gloss. I didn't really like this. Um, I wouldn't say it was horrible. I actually really like this for cleaning up the eyebrows because sometimes you get um, a concealer that's just a little too sheer and just moves around a little too easily where it's not really good for cleaning up the eyebrows. Whereas this makes cleaning up the eyebrows a little bit easier because it's harder to move your brush around. So less mess ups. So I'll probably keep this and use this for my brows. But as far as the rest of the face, I don't think I'd really use that again. I prefer something more like the ColourPop or Shape Tape concealer that kind of um, is a little more matte and less sticky, but still full coverage. But I would say if you have a very dry skin day or eyelids like I've been having, this might be a good option. I would just rather go hard with the moisturizing skincare prior and use a less sticky wet version of a concealer. I think that's everything that I, oh, um, I also wanted to talk about this. Um, I don't really like this. Um, I like the way that it looks, I like the way that it feels, but I feel like I'm gonna have to apply this a million times. Like, it's just not super pigmented. Um, so 
it's very sheer. So if you have dry lips, like I kind of have right now, and you can see right through it and see that, which I'm not really in, into. So if they added a little bit more pigmentation to this um, and it didn't move around quite as much without being too sticky, then I might like this, but I really did like the smell of it and I really like the shade, so I might use it again. I don't hate it, but it definitely isn't my favorite like lip gloss formula out there. There are others that I would grab way before this one. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you guys think about the products in this video. How, how are you feeling that they performed? Are you gonna try any of these? Have you already grabbed them? Let, let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you, what you saw today. Um, and we'll chat in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my pet channel if you love animals. It will be linked in the description box below. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. So it's been a few hours and I just did some color remover on my hair that we we're creating at Arctic Fox. This was a test. I mean, it did pretty freaking amazing. I'm like shocked. Okay, anyways, it's not the point of this. So I just came back on to say that this lips, the lip gel is not staying well. I peeled my eyelashes off. I took a shower, I ate a little bit. I'd say it's been about two hours. Um, and this is not holding up well at all. And I even had added a little bit of lip liner. So I'm not super happy with this lip gel. Um, I liked the color, I liked the consistency, but it's just not quite pigmented enough for me and it doesn't stay put super well. I'm gonna have to reapply this before I finish filming the hair color removal video. I wanted to come on here and say that I think I'm giving this foundation a second chance because it has been wearing really well. I've had it on now for probably about four hours. Oh no, actually longer. I think I've had it on for about five, five and a half hours now. And my skin looks really nice. It looks like nice and dewy um, and it's not breaking up at all. So it needs a bit of powder. But overall, I think it looks really nice. Like, I'm pretty stoked with how this looks. So I think I would use this again. Um, so I, I take back what I said about this foundation initially. It's looking good.